just do that. Okay, so good evening everybody and welcome to our virtual open evening for animal and equine. I'm Corinne Piskin, I'm principal at City College Norwich, which includes Eastern College, which is where the provision that we'll be talking about this evening is. Um, I'm going to hand you over in a moment to my colleagues, but first of all, just a reminder, if you didn't hear when you came in, we've got the Q&A function open at the bottom of the screen and any questions that you've got, pop them in there and then I will pose those questions to my colleagues as we go through the presentation. So I'll hand over first of all to Paula. So good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Paula Ottaway and I am the director of the land based industries here at Eastern College. Um, so I look after agriculture, horticulture, land and wildlife, but also as part of the area, I look after the animal and equine area. Um, and the head of that area is Chris, who will be taking you through the presentation. So I will hand over to him. Perfect. Thanks, Paula. Uh, so yeah, I'm Chris Sturdy, Head of Animal and Equine. Uh, so working uh, with Paula, uh, supporting the curriculum uh, area of, of the, the Animal and Equine Department, working with our students and uh, lecturers to, to give our students the, the, the best experience possible uh, whilst they're here at Eastern College. And this evening, uh, what we'll be doing is going through a presentation uh, to give you a bit of an insight into uh, the Animal and Equine curriculum area. Uh, give you a bit of a taste uh, um, about what facilities we, we've got and uh, and then an opportunity at the end as Corian said to, to do some uh, questions and answers so um, what I will do is just share my screen so that we can pop that um, presentation up okay so Oh, hopefully you can all now see that um, perfect uh, Okay, so let's go through this then. Uh, perfect. So um, just, you know, I am working across two screens. So if I look like I'm, I'm not staring directly, the presentation is actually um, on, on my right hand side. So I'll, I'll kind of look at that, but I will come back to the camera. Uh, so um, as you can see there, purpose of uh, today's session and say is to give you a bit of an insight into the animal and equine uh, area and a bit about what college life is uh, about as well. Uh, and then move on to that Q&A session um, towards the end. Uh, so, it's the first question, uh, why, why Eastern College? Uh, why would you want to come and study animal and equine with us here? Uh, when we look at our, our staff, when we, we look at those that, that will be teaching um, our, our future students, uh, they, we've got a, a really nice range of staff throughout the department that have got some really good professional experiences that has spent many years working in industry. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the animal department, uh, we've got those that have worked within uh, zoos, we've got those who have worked within uh, research and lab facilities, uh, those that have uh, worked out in, in wildlife, working for organisations like the, the National Trust, uh, forest schools, and, and kind of working in wildlife and ecology, um, outdoor teaching, um, uh, environments. Uh, myself, I, I've got 10 years uh, worth of experience coming from the, the zoological sector. Uh, previous to, to coming to Eastern College, I uh, was the curator of the Sea Life Centre in, in Great Yarmouth. Uh, so we've got lots of experiences uh, that we can bring uh, to our students where um, we can not just teach the curriculum, but actually give a, a real insight into to how the industry um, functions to give you those insider tips and to, to give you those um, advantages or, or an insight uh, but some knowledge to, to get that career to get that job uh, within um, those sectors when we look at our equine side as well uh, our staff have um, got uh, British Horse Society training so BHS uh, going through the, the different stages uh, working up to, to their instructor levels as well uh, so not only can you have the confidence that uh, the the lecturers have got the uh, the qualification side on the academic side, their degrees, etc. But they've also got that professional industry training uh, to, to support you with your studies. 
when we look at the facilities, uh, when we look at our equestrian yard, uh, we are a BHS uh, approved centre and not uh, are we only just uh, approved, but we're actually uh, highly commended as well. Uh, so you know that we are, are reaching those real high standards when it comes to um, the, the care of our horses, but also the level of instruction uh, that you'd be getting uh, as well. Um, to reach the, that highly commended uh, status, we, we have to go above and beyond uh, the, the sort of general General guidance so you, you really know that from a facilities perspective uh, you're, you're getting a, a really good standard. Uh, similar with our, our animal care centre as well uh, that we're, we're always always aiming to, to meet those industry standards. Uh, the, the technicians that, that run the centre have, have got previous positions uh, working in zoos, management in zoos, uh, management in um, farm parks as well uh, so they're bringing those experiences and the, those standards uh, with them uh, and implementing that here at the college. Uh, and not only when we just look at the the sort of the department when we look at the college environment as a whole uh, this campus is a really nice open campus there's lots of green spaces um, to work there if you're interested in the equestrian side uh, there, there's opportunities to go out hacking uh, as well as the sort of indoor arena and, and the outdoor arena that we've got uh, but the, the state also supports the animal care side as well so we're, when we're looking at uh, wildlife uh, walks when we're looking at doing um, surveys uh, we've, we've got opportunity to stay on site, on site in the estate to go out to um, to our water meadows uh, and to our woodlands uh, and all the, the the different habitats that we study here at, at the college. Uh, and everything is really set up to, to start giving you that that independence to start building up your um, your your career, giving you those steps not just from the curriculum perspective but also um, to, to help guide you into to being ready to work um, and, to, and to give you that independence. So a, a great support network here uh, at, at the college. Uh, and that kind of links into to the next side. So life at the college, uh, we've got our, our mission statement, challenging minds, uh, inspiring success and securing futures. Uh, so you know, you, when you come here, uh, you'll, you'll be challenged you know, in the sense of you know, your, your viewpoints, discussion points. Um, we want to make sure that you're really getting the, the best out of, of both your, your academic abilities, but also your practical abilities as well. Uh, so again, if you're, you're interested in the riding side, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the um, pushing your your riding forward uh, you know, helping you support jumping if that's what you're interested in uh, helping you lunging and but likewise with the animal care side you might have um, a phobia for example of of handling tarantulas or snakes uh, and and the team are here they're, they're very well versed at uh, supporting students to, to overcome those, those fears um, and challenge yourself uh, and to, to build up those skills uh, and hands up I was one of those people that was petrified of touching tarantulas but I can now touch a tarantula so uh, yeah the, the success does happen. Um, our ways of working are a really big uh, part of how we, we work here at the college. Uh, and these are a set of guidelines, set of principles that, that both our, our staff and our, our students uh, work towards. Uh, so being open and, and informative, for example, respectful and fair. Uh, and you know, if we're all working towards uh, these, these guiding principles, uh, then we actually really create uh, a nice uh, working environment, uh, one where everyone um, can really feel that they can achieve their, their potential. Uh, and these are, are very much integrated into our day-to-day our, our -day life at, at the college. Uh, and, and we always refer back to these. So um, they do get you, you ready for work. They do create that nice environment. And actually having come from industry, um, you know, I can really see how, how they do work and support and, and, uh, and give our students that, that best opportunity to succeed. So why animal and equine? Well, actually, when we look at it as uh, an industry, uh, they are actually really, really big industries. Uh, we look at the animal care industry uh, as a whole, uh, that it's worth over a billion pounds to the UK economy. And yeah, it kind of makes sense when we think about what animal care involves, that it's not just um, kind of having our, our pets and, uh, and, and, and retail, but all the, the supporting industries that work around that from your, your doggy daycare to your dog walking, uh, to your, your vets. You know, we, need, we need more vets, we need vet nurses. 
Uh, but also then looking at the, the welfare charities that, that rescue uh, and rehome uh, pets, but also from the wildlife front as well. You know, zoos and, and wildlife parks, uh, you know, there, there is a big conservation element but behind those. Uh, and again, all the, the supporting aspects that, that work with those, you know, from feed suppliers to, um, to, to providing, uh, say, your veterinary care, your nutritional advice, um, your physio. Uh, there, there's lots that's in connected with, with, our, with our animal care industry. Um, so it's a huge industry and, and there may be aspects of it that you've not really considered before. Um, that, that do connect um, with with, um, with animal. Um, so it could be that actually you're, you're really interested in in research um, and, and looking at what's going out in the in the wild and and um, you know, our, our planet's forever changing um, with, with climate change etc. And yeah, animal care can can be a, um, a starting point for that uh, as we we look into our wildlife and conservation pathways. So uh, lots um, yeah, lots to, to consider to, to think about animal studies. But then likewise, when we think about uh, the uh, equine industry, we look at the, the rural sector um, past agriculture, the equine industry is, is the, the second largest rural economy. Uh, and you know, there's plenty of different roles within um, the, the equestrian side, everything from potentially uh, you might want to, to manage your own yard, you know, similar to what we have here at the college. Uh, you might be really interested in um, actually being a rider yourself and being involved in the, those com uh, competitions, your dressage, your show jumping, your cross country. Uh, and there's opportunities to work, say, on your, your riding master here at college. Uh, maybe you want to, to run those events or, again, look at the supporting industries uh, and thinking about um, being a, a saddler who actually makes the, the saddles and the bridles to to being a farrier, saddle fitter, uh, again, looking at the, the nutritional elements, physio, um, again, equine specialist, uh, vets and vet nurses. So um, huge potential uh, within these industries that um, our um, courses can be the, those stepping points, that, that starting point um, before you um, move on to, for the rest of your career. I'll just jump in there, Chris, while you're going on to the next slide, because we've got a couple of new people arrived just to say that the um, question and answer is open at the bottom of your screen. So if you've got any questions that you'd like to us to answer, um, do pop them in there. They only come through to, to us. So don't worry about your spelling. Don't worry if it's a silly question. I won't name you or anything. So do put anything that, you're, that you want to know in there and we'll cover it off at the end. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Um, so just popping on to um, our next slide there, key features of, uh, about college experience. Uh, so with our, our courses, they, they are, are not just looking at uh, the, the academic element. Uh, there, there's plenty that you'll, you'll be studying um, from a theory perspective, uh, but also you know, the understanding there is a practical element uh, behind those. Uh, so if you're studying animal care, uh, you'd be looking at everything from um, nutrition to behavior to anatomy and physiology. There's quite a lot of science involved in both our, our, our animal and, and equestrian um, qualifications. Um, but moving on for, from those, the, you could be in our animal care center, uh, looking at doing health checks and how to handle you know, a rabbit correctly to, to how to handle an alpaca and take them out for, for a walk and how you'd assess their body condition. Uh, you might need to do some behavioral training um, and our alpacas are certainly something um, that we work with uh, on that and how to create um, positive experiences with them. Uh, you could have a lesson where you're looking at exercising um, the, our alpacas and goats uh, and your session could be walking around campus um, with, with a goat in tow uh, and, and looking at how um, you uh, work uh, in enforcing their behaviours and giving them those, those exercise experience. Now, let's say obviously from um, an equestrian perspective, you know, plenty of riding, plenty of jumping uh, and, and lunging, grooming, stable management, etc. So loads of, of, of practical opportunities. Um, but also with our courses uh, doing uh, work experience as well. Uh, so all our courses there, there are set hours depending on the course uh, that you look into, uh, where you'd be going out and getting those placements uh, within industry. So not only are you getting the, the academic experience, the practical experience, but actually you're getting a, an idea of, of how um, you're expected to, to work in industry. And, and of course, this all contributes to, to forming um, the, the, this full package where you should be ready to, to step into um, your, your career afterwards. 
Uh, we do have different pathways, so it, it's not a case of just being, you know, animal care and you know, and just sticking to that. So, for example, in our, our level three um, technical and animal care, uh, in your second year, you could uh, look at specialising in science if you're interested in the research element or maybe being a, a vet nurse uh, or, or looking into to working in um, a, a lab facility. Uh, so, um, with with that science aspect that starts working towards giving you the the, the training and the skills to go on to university if that's a, a route you want to go on to to look at uh, your, your vet nursing and your veterinary um, schools uh, we have our wildlife pathway so if you're interested in um, being out and about um, in the field, working for maybe RSPB, um, Natural England, uh, Wildlife Trust, uh, that starts looking at surveying skills. Uh, it, it looks at how to identify you know, different birds, different trees, different plants, uh, and really sort of sets you up with, with those skills for a career in wildlife. Um, zoo pathway. So again, if you want to, to become a, a zookeeper or, or a zoologist where you're, you're studying um, you know, animal behavior uh, and, and, uh, and, and looking at the, the actual animal interaction and the animals as, as in the, themselves, uh, you know, opportunities to actually study how um, zoology works. Uh, or if you want to be like in a public aquarium, uh, that would be the, the route to take. And then uh, we've got our, our animal management pathway, which is more looking at the, the pet industry and, and kennels and catteries uh, and looking at um, how you might run a pet shop. Uh, if, if that's what you're interested in, maybe you want to have your own, maybe you want to, to run a, 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 a dog walking business or um, doggy daycare. And you've got in there um, elements on, on how to, to manage the, those businesses. Whereas on our equine side, uh, you could be doing the non-riding where you're focusing on uh, working as a, a groom or a yard manager. Uh, you could then move on to, to being a, a flat rider. So, so where you're, you're not basically doing the, the jumping side, um, but you're working more from a, a dressage perspective. Or you could be looking at uh, the jump pathway where, where there is a bit more focus on, on, on jumping. So quite a, a few pathways to, to focus on, depending on your interest, depending on where you want to go uh, in a career uh, perspective. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, um, we've got our animal care centre, we've got our equine yard, uh, and they, they're all part of, of, those, uh, of those sessions. OK, so progression. Uh, and you know, this is looking at once you've got your um, your particular qualification, what's the next steps, where, where do you want to go afterwards? Um, and typically we, we do a, a range of courses, our level one, two and three. For those who, who go on to our uh, level one and level two courses, normally your progression route is aiming for the, for the course above. Uh, so if you're, you're doing a level one, you'd then be aiming to do um, the level two afterwards. And likewise, if you're doing the level two, you'd be aiming for the level three. Uh, for those who are doing our level three technicals, there is the opportunity to go straight into industry uh, with um, these courses, depending on what experience you, you have. Uh, or we have also quite a lot of students that move on to either apprenticeships or, or university as well. Uh, and with the, the level three technical qualifications, uh, you, you'd be able to, to, to go through that university route. OK, so I've mentioned about our different courses.